Okay, I've got some uh, shoe pastry in a piping bag in here with a very tiny nozzle, and we're going to do the neck of the swan now. I'm going to show you to do this. So to pipe properly, get the tray very close to you, and hold the bag like so in your finger, just there. And this is what the pressure comes from. You put the pressure with your finger there, and this this hand in here, just hold the nozzle. Don't put your hand on top there. Put it underneath and squeeze. Like so, move your body around. And do this little neck, just like that. And try to picture a swan in your head so you can see his face. Here we go, that's our swan neck. Right now, we're going to do the bodies of the swan. So, for this, you need a star nozzle. Get your, your tray ready, push forward, out, and down. Like that. Right, the shoe pastry is back now. I'm going to show you how to make the swan. So, um, as you see in here, that's the body of the swan. The little tail just coming here. We're going to cut this in half and cut the wings in half. So have a look. Flat there, very sharp knife, and cut the top of that. In here. So let's do a few of them. I'm going to fill the middle with some Chantilly cream. So first, cut the wings now in half. Just there. So we've got the piping bag in here with some Chantilly cream in the middle. And I'm going to fill up the bodies. Beautiful. The wings goes, open them up and place them just like that. Open and place there. That's great. So the body I've built up now, we're going to put our neck. So the neck, as you see, nice, little light and baked, and they all look slightly different. So get a little knife, choose the best one, lift them up, and place them just out. And just a tiny bit of icing sugar on top, very, very lightly. Et voilà, your shoe swans for afternoon tea is perfect.